Hello everybody. Like the name itself suggests, by now you would have understood that over here we are just going to remove the duplicate columns. Now let me just give you an example how the problem statement looks like. Okay. So what you see over here is here is a data frame which we have. This is currently in Excel and we will be importing this into uh, Python, right? Uh, Jupyter Notebook is the interface which we're going to use. So in this particular data frame, you can see the columns highlighted in different col colors are duplicate in itself. For example, if you see this particular column, column A, this is ID and this is duplicate to employee ID. Again, here you see name which is duplicate of first name. Here you see sex and over here you see gender. These two are duplicate in itself, right? So this is what we are going to solve here. It's a small data frame. So you can just see and figure out which all are duplicate and you can remove them easily. But what about uh, when you have a data frame which has, let's say, thousands of columns? Actually, this this is a question which was asked by one of the audience in the comment section. And for that only I'm making this video. OK. So over here, how can we make a function or something which will automatically check the which will automatically check the duplicate columns not by just column names but by the values okay and it will help in removing them right so here there is let me tell you there isn't any inbuilt function in python which will help you to do that all that we need to do is put our mind make some logic and then try this right so let's start thinking with this how can we solve this right so here is a list of columns right so what we need to do is for example we need to take id column and we need to check in the list of all these columns if it is matching with any one of this so basically we want to do this thing right this is what we want to do same way again here we would have this first name and we would like to check this first name in all of these columns the the value which we have in the first name column the same thing which we would like to check in each of these columns if that matches with any one of that and this is something which we would require to repeat for all of these 11 columns okay so for this what we can do is we can use loop right we can use the loop for this okay let's just see how we're going to do this okay so here is the data which i have already imported and in fact i have already done this thing over here but don't worry i'm just going to recreate everything once again so right in front of you here you can see i'm opening a new notebook page and from here the only thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this syntax so that we don't have to waste the time in writing the same syntax again okay and uh, sorry import find us as pd that is it and over here the data frame let's just see how it's gonna look like it is a little slow so you gotta bear with this okay all right then i'll pause the video till the time uh, it is opening and uh, setting up this thing okay now that we here we got the data the next thing which we need to do is we need to write a loop which uh, you know iterates each column with each of them what do i mean exactly is this okay first of all let me take the list of columns df dot columns oh god this is pathetically slow <laughs> okay list df dot columns so you see here is the column okay now what i'm going to do is i will say i'm just going to show you an example let's say for x in df dot columns for y in df dot columns and here i'm going to say print x comma y so what you see over here this is exactly what we were doing i was showing you in excel so if you see this id is iterating through each of the column then again over here first name is iterating through each of the column last name is iterating through each of the column 
same thing we need to do but here we need to take the value not just the name so how can we figure out that part okay so for that uh, let me show you one more example so here is the data frame all right so this is the data frame and in the data frame what i'm going to do is i will say i lock and over here is and let me just take one over here okay so you see here we are getting max katie so max katie richard this these are the values which we are getting means here using i lock we are just taking the value from each of the column so this is uh, this i was just showing you because this is what we will be using over here okay so let's just start with uh, without wasting much of the time let's start with writing the syntax how can we do that so for first thing which we're gonna say for x in df dot df uh, for, for x in range let's say for x in range df dot shape one so here we are not uh, doing anything scientific we are just taking the total count of columns in the data frame and then uh, we will iterate through each of the column in that particular range okay now so because this is created the, uh, this will be iterating so we just need to store the variables value okay so how can we do that so i'll create a variable or object which is called base column and here i would say df dot i lock and over here i'm just going to say this and x so what will happen is every time x comes over here it will take each of the column and it will store into this now next thing which we need to do is we need to say for y in range x plus 1 because we don't want to uh, match id with id right if you just start with x right so i assume that you are familiar with range function so in range function either you can directly specify the destination or you can specify start and destination and step also if you want you can just have a look on this uh, on its argument right so here you see start stop and everything is given over here you can just give some time so here i'm just putting a starting point so a starting point which i want to do is here from here right not from the here uh, for the second occurrence not for the first loop okay i just hope that it is clear now the end point what is the end point that i want the end point will be same the total number of columns which we have that will be the end point and then over here i am just going to say is compare column this will be compare column and here i would say i lock and is this comma this y okay so this is what uh, it will take over here now the next thing which comes is if base call dot equal not sure if it is going to get auto completed if base call equals and in the bracket this is the function which you can use here i'm just going to say comp call okay so what i'm saying is whatever column which i first picked if that is equals to the value available in this particular column then what what is it that we want to do so for that we will create a empty set over here dupe calls i will just say dupe calls and here i would create set okay and now what i am going to do next is here i would say dupe calls dot add all right dupe calls dot add and uh, over here i am just going to say Group calls dot add and uh, what what we can uh, say over here is we require to take the values from the particular uh, data frame name okay and then we need to put it over here so here we are going to say df dot columns dot values let's just see if it auto completes no again values right and over here i'm just going to say y if you think that what if you're not sure what exactly it does is then let me show you an example of this okay over here and let's just put one so what you see is it is taking the column name first column name right so that's what we are just going to do over here it it will 
take each of the column and it will just put over here okay duplicate columns duplicate calls dot odd add and df dot columns dot values y so if uh, this thing is happening base call is equals to compare call okay this is what we are going to do right and let's just print over here print dupe calls let's see so you see three columns we got duplicate gender name and imp id okay so in the data frame these are the three columns which we had duplicate this is first name which is name employee id and gender these are the these three columns are duplicate of these three okay so we got the list now the next thing which comes is dropping it how can we drop this so simple it, it's very simple right so you can just say df dot drop and over here you just need to use label and in the label what you can supply is the set of columns which you have just identified and just say axis equals to one and here we go now you see you don't have those three columns over here but previously we had this this and this so this is how no matter how many columns you have in your data frames you can just remove them all if you want you can make a call um, you, if you want you can make a list uh, sorry function of this thing right uh, so let's create a function of this over here let's say diff dupe dupe duplicate calls and here we will just supply the data frame name and let's let's just say one tab okay this print statement is not needed over here and that's it so you know our uh, this thing is created and after that all that we require to do is just supply the data frame name and you would have the list of columns okay so let's just say duplicate calls and into that you can just supply the data frame all right so here let me just say return return or let's come out of loop return do call return do call and over here you see we got this now every time we can just keep on using this okay so what we can do is we can uh, just let's say df dot you know df dot drop and into this we can just put it into the bracket and over here we say subset subset equals to this sorry not subset label label and axis equals to one so this is how simple you can do this now you have this function created and you can use this every time and you can just remove the duplicates it's that simple i just hope that you like this video if yes then give a thumbs up and share with your friends so that everybody will learn and uh, it will support to me as well thank you very much for watching the video wish you 